So here's the old digital to analog converter that I've been using for, well, almost a decade now. This one is an RCA DTA-800-B1L. Wait a minute. This is a, this is a DTA-800-B1. I guess there is a difference. How strange. Well, anyway, I also have this one that I got from our recycling center back in California. It is an Airlink 101 or model ATVC 102. So we can give that a try. And then people recommended me to try this. This is a Zenith DTT 901. So let's try with several different antennas in several different locations and see what sorts of channels and signals we can get. I recently bought this Zenith off eBay and it came with this little antenna and I found that if I put it in a specific place it has to be in that spot curved and it'll pick up one channel. If I do it anywhere else, if I have it straight there, if I have it straight there, if I have it closer out the window, nothing. I couldn't get a single signal. But if I have it there and kind of bent, for some reason it gets a signal. Okay, I got it now. So, it's a little bit of signal. It's eh, showing up out there. So it's not too bad. There we go. Now let's try the RCA. Now that's a bit surprising. The RCA has picked up six channels. Let's see if they're watchable though. Exactly. And they're different channels than before, so that's interesting. Hmm. 13%. Weird. Well, let's try the Zenith again and do a full scan. Back to the Zenith, and the Zenith has picked up six channels also, so that's interesting. And it's channel two and channel four also. Okay, so that seems like they're pretty well matched. However, the Zenith has the option to manually select a channel, so that is actually a lot more easy, a lot easier. But the actual signal reception doesn't seem to be all that much worse. So, let's try the Airlink 101. Ooh, interesting, similar menu. Ah, it has manual scan also. That sounds really good. I do like how this one actually says what frequency you're looking at, so that's pretty cool. Ooh, that's a clear picture. That, Airlink 101, or whatever it is, something something 102, that, that actually might be pretty good. Signal is 49, signal quality is 100%, signal strength is 49, oh wow. That is so cool. I, 
this one that I found in the basement might actually kind of be a nicer one. Oh, what's six? So we, so we have channel two and channel four again, like the other one. So they seem very consistent, which is good. Oh, the zenith actually is not picking up as well. So it appears that they're very closely matched. The, there's no huge differences in them, but the ATVC 102 picks up the signals better and gives a lot of information. So that's nice. This one comes last because it just has a little bit of a hard time with all this. Although now it's getting some good signal. Now we're outside with the RCA connected up to the big axial or helical antenna. And oh, it's already gotten six channels. Got channel 2, channel 5, channel 11, and channel 17. Unwatchable on channel 17. Channel 2 is definitely watchable. Channel 5 is barely watchable. No signal on channel 11. That's not too bad. Now we have the zenith on the homemade axial antenna. It appears it got 13 channels also, so that's cool. So channel 2. In general, is very watchable. Now, this is very watchable. Channel 4 is very watchable. It's very nice. Channel 5 is barely watchable. I believe before was it unwatchable? I'm not sure. Yeah, that's... I, uh, let's just say... Barely watchable. Barely watchable. 11 is very watchable. And then we're back around. Now it's time to try the Airlink 101 or the ATVC 102. I'm not sure. Whatever it is. Oh. Thirteen channels also. Now the Airlink 101 is slower switching between channels, so that's something to keep in mind. Channel 2 is very watchable. Channel 4 is very watchable also. Oh, what? Um, whatever. There are many things a little bit annoying though. I very dislike it. Channel 5. Uh, barely watchable. Eh, that's unwatchable. Yeah, that is unwatchable. Channel 11 is very watchable. Well, if I'd have to say, I think the RCA 
is the, is the least good. The Zenith is the second best, and the Airlink shit is the best one, I guess. Ah. Hope you guys enjoy this video, and thank you very much for watching. See ya.